For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to integrate indefinite integrals using u substitution. On the first example, what is the antiderivative of 3x squared multiplied by the quantity x cubed plus 7 raised to 5 dx? So let us set a value of u that we can eliminate the variable x. Now, if you have any difficulty in setting a value for u, let me show you this one. If you have an expression raised to certain exponent, that is always the value of u. And if you have e raised to certain exponent, the exponent will be the value of u. And whenever you have a radical sign, the radicand will be the value of u. And whenever you have a fraction raised to certain exponent or it's been square root, that is always the value of u. In our given, a number one, we have x cubed plus 7 raised to certain exponent. Therefore, the value of u, that is x cubed plus 7. And du, that is the derivative of x cubed plus 7, that is 3x squared dx. So let us divide both sides by 3x squared. Let's cancel this one. dx will be du over 3x squared. So let us have the antiderivative of 3x squared and x cubed plus 7 will be u raised to 5 and dx will be du over 3x squared. So we can cancel 3x squared. It will give us the antiderivative of u raised to 5 du. And the antiderivative of u raised to 5, that is u raised to 6 over 6 plus c. And this time, we can substitute the value of u, that is x cubed plus 7. So our answer will be x cubed plus 7 raised to 6 over 6 plus c. Or you can write our answer as 1 over 6 times x cubed plus 7 raised to 6 plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is the antiderivative of x cubed over square root of 1 minus x raised to 4 dx? So let us have u as 1 minus x raised to 4 and du that is the derivative of 1 minus x raised to 4 that's negative 4 x cubed dx and then let us divide both sides by negative 4x cubed so the value of dx is du over negative 4x cubed so let us have the antiderivative of x cubed over square root of u times du over 4 or negative 4x cubed. So let us cancel x cubed. This will be the antiderivative of du over negative 4 square root of u. And then simplify. Let us move this one in front. This will be negative 1 fourth antiderivative of du over, let us write square root of u as u raised to one half and then let us have negative one fourth let us move u raised to one half in the numerator this will be u raised to negative one half du and to simplify this will be negative one fourth times the antiderivative of u raised to negative one half that's u raised to negative one half plus 1 divided by negative 1 half plus 1 plus c. So this will be negative 1 fourth. And then u, negative 1 half plus 1, that's positive 1 half. And then, so 1 half in the denominator plus c. And to simplify, this will be negative 1 fourth multiplied by the reciprocal of this one is 2, u raised to 1 half plus c. 
So let us cancel 2 and 4 because they are divisible by 2. So 2 becomes 1 and 4 becomes 2. So this will be negative 1 half u raised to 1 half plus c. And then let us substitute the value of u which is 1 minus x raised to 4. So this will be negative 1 half times 1 minus x raised to 4 raised to positive 1 half plus c. So this will be our answer. Or you can write your answer as negative 1 half square root of 1 minus x raised to 4 plus c. On example number 3, what is the antiderivative of x multiplied by the square root of x plus 2 dx? So as you can see, we have a radicand. So whenever we have a radicand, that is the value of u. That is x plus 2. And du, that is the derivative of x plus 2, that is 1 dx. So therefore, let us have the antiderivative of x square root of u du. So this time, we can't eliminate the variable x. So what are we going to do is we are going to move 2 on the side of u. So this will be u minus 2 equals x. So this will be the value of x. So let us have the antiderivative of u minus 2 times, let us write the square root of u as u raised to 1 half du. And then let us multiply this one. u raised to 1 multiplied by u raised to 1 half, that is u raised to 3 over 2 minus 2 times u raised to 1 half, that is 2 u raised to 1 half du. And then let us find the antiderivative. The antiderivative of u raised to 3 over 2, that's u raised to 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by 3 over 2 plus 1 minus 2, u raised to 1 half plus 1, divide by 1 half plus 1 plus c. And to simplify, this will be u, 3 over 2 plus 1, that's 5 over 2. And the same with the denominator, minus 2, u, 1 half plus 1, that is 3 over 2. Plus C. So let us find the reciprocal. This will be 2u raised to 5 over 2 divided by 5 minus 2 times 2, that's 4u raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 plus C. Now, let us substitute the value of u, which is x plus 2. So this will be u times x plus 2 raised to 5 over 2 over 5 minus 4 times x plus 2 raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 plus c. So this will be our answer. On number 4, what is the antiderivative of sine x over cosine cube x dx? So to simplify this one, let us rewrite our given as the antiderivative of sine x over cosine x raised to 3 dx. So whenever we have a denominator raised to a certain exponent, that is always the value of u. So the value of u here is cosine x. And du, that is the derivative of cosine x, that is negative sine x dx. And then, let us divide both sides by negative sine x. So dx will be du over negative sine x. So we are going to have the antiderivative of sine x and cosine x, that is u, raised to 3, and dx will be du over negative sine x. So let us cancel sine x. This will be the antiderivative of du over negative u raised to 3. And then 
let us move negative u raised to 3 into numerator, it will give us the antiderivative of negative u raised to negative 3 du. And then, the antiderivative of negative u raised to negative 3, that's negative u raised to negative 3 plus 1, divide by negative 3 plus 1 plus c. So let us simplify, that's negative u, negative 3 plus 1, that's negative 2, plus c. And then, negative divided by negative, that's positive. So this will be u raised to negative 2 over 2 plus c. And to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, let us move u raised to negative 2 into denominator. So this will be 1 over 2 u raised to 2 plus c. So this time, let us substitute the value of u that is cosine x. So this will be 1 over 2 times cosine x raised to 2 plus c. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.